Hi, I'm Judy Vitale. This is your weekly horoscopes at work forecast for April 17th through 23rd, 2017. Happy, happy Easter, happy Passover, happy everything to everybody as we celebrate um, this week. And um, also, we are celebrating the middle of spring. The sun will move into Taurus this week on Wednesday, 527 p.m. All of you Taurus people, it's time for your birthday. Start making that chocolate cake now. <laughs> Some other things are going on this week, too. Uh, it's actually a pretty big week. We have Pluto going station to retrograde. This will begin on Thursday at 846 a.m. And that lasts until September 29th. Again, this is nothing that is so odd that we can't deal with it. Pluto goes retrograde for much of the year, every year. And um, during this time, we get a chance to reprocess the things that Pluto has already put us through. So those of us with um, planets and, and things of, uh, regarding our charts and the cardinal signs of Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn will have some processing time over this coming uh, several months. On Friday, Mars is going to move into Gemini. And what does Mars and Gemini do? It makes people think and think and think and think and think. So if you are a warrior, I would like you to consider starting a uh, meditation practice during this time because you're going to need to calm down. Mars also will agitate you, especially if you are a Gemini. You may also feel some agitation if you are a Virgo, a Sagittarius, or a Pisces because these are aggravating kinds of interactions with Mars during this time and then of course we have mercury still in retrograde and a good old mercury in retrograde is retrograding back into aries on thursday 1 37 p.m so those of us who have aries in our charts and think we're done with mercury going through us on us going back for another round and um this is likely to really put things that are in motion into a stall so be very careful very cautious, especially during the times that I mentioned are void of course moon, because void of course moon plus mercury retrograde equals very murky times. It isn't that you can't survive during this period, by the way. You can. You must pay very strict attention to detail, especially if you're signing a contract or something of that nature. And if you're making any kind of travel arrangements, working with electronics, speaking, writing, communicating in any way, honor mercury and keep in mind he's kind of taking a break so don't don't put too much on to to the guy okay now let's go through this day by day so you can shape your week to come in the most beneficial way possible monday moon and capricorn excellent for business sun trine saturn excellent for organization so organize your business on monday really come down out of these holidays and start to you know, do the productive period between now and summer when people start to head out to various places. You're going to want to get their attention now. Tuesday, Moon continues in Capricorn. We have a square to Jupiter, a conjunction to Pluto, and a square to Uranus. While still good for business because people will maintain that overall view, there will be some power plays around, so it won't be as easy to get what you want to get done on Monday because you'll constantly be trying to position yourself. Wednesday, of course, we're going to have a void, of course, moon, but it's not too bad. 5.57 a.m. to 6.52 a.m. Eastern Time, so that shouldn't affect too many of us. Um, but um, then the moon will go into Aquarius, and the sun will move into Taurus on Wednesday at 5.27 p.m. During the time when the sun is in Taurus, we take a little break from the, the fiery, fiery energy of spring and, and protect what we've planted. So this kind of goes along with what we said about Monday in that you will want to put some plans out there and really kind of allow them to grow, encourage them to grow, fertilize them. A lot of mud and, you know, that kind of oozy kind of energy and also a very sensual kind of feel to Taurus. Taurus people love things that make them feel good. If you know one, you know what I mean. <laughs> On Thursday, we have the moon in Aquarius, sun conjunct Mercury, so um, if you thought that you had forgotten what Mercury is doing in your life, you will be reminded on Thursday. And then we have the Pluto um, going into retrograde also on Thursday. If that happens um, early in the morning, right, 846 a.m. And then Mercury moving on back into Aries at 1.37 p.m. So Mercury is going to kind of cross over the sun backwards while the sun is getting ready to move 
on forward. So um, it's kind of, it's going to be a little bit treacherous on Wednesday and Thursday, I would imagine. Friday, the moon continues in Aquarius. Uh, Mars moves into Gemini again. This also, if you have something that is about to blow in terms of an engine, a computer, a computer that's sort of overtaxed, Mars and Gemini can can really exacerbate those sorts of situations too. So I want you to be cautious, make plans, make contingency plans and contingency plans, especially if you're traveling on Friday. The moon will be going to void, of course, again between 2.23 and 3.43 p.m. Friday. So that's the time when you want to be very, very careful. If you're going away for the weekend, wait until after 4 o'clock to make your departure. Or you can go before 2.23 p.m. if you like. On Saturday, we have uh, the moon will be in Pisces and we will have moon conjunct and also aligned by declination. So it's what's called an occultation with the moon and Neptune. This will allow us to really feel spiritually oriented and also creative and love. All these things will be wonderful. And Saturday is also Earth Day and I have a special event I'm going to tell you about on Earth Day too. On Sunday, we have the moon continuing in Pisces. It's a little calmer. Not uh, so many noticeable things going on. But there will be a transition when the moon is void, of course, between 5.34 p.m. and 8.32 p.m., at which point the moon will go into Aries and we'll be ready to start the whole week again. So, as for me this week, we'll be recording a new Deep Dives podcast, Chasta Johnson and I, that will be taking place on Tuesday. So watch your, your uh, Facebook and those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. You'll be receiving a, a new missive from us probably late Tuesday or early on Wednesday. Um, this week also, starting at Green Aris, we're getting very formalized about the guided meditation class, which will take place on Monday and Thursday evenings at 8 p.m. at Green Aris, 209 Commercial Street in Aspenwall. Beautiful new center. Please come in. We're doing so many wonderful things there these days. As I said, there's a special event on Saturday, but before that, I'll be for my regular office hours at Journeys on Friday the 21st from 1 to 5 p.m., 412-681-8755 to make your appointment, or you can just drop by, or you can also make an appointment through me if you'd like to see me at Journeys. Then, um, on Saturday, I will be at Inhale Yoga, celebrating Inhale Yoga's first birthday. There's going to be a yoga bazaar, B-A-Z-A-A-R, not like B-I-Z-A-R-R-E like I am, but <laughs> we will have um, various things going on. Among them will be me doing readings and reading cards for people, doing all sorts of fun stuff. And that's Saturday also from 1 to 5 or 1 to 6, something like that. There's stuff going on all day, so please check Inhale Yoga downtown Pittsburgh and uh, they'll, you'll find out all about that big event. So that, in addition to my usual practice, will keep me pretty busy for this week. If you would like to have a reading, and Lord knows we can all use readings at this, with all the stuff that's going on up there in the sky, please contact me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.